Watch the entire video my lovely viewers, I mean from start to finish, to get the whole thing. Without wasting much of your time, let's get right into it. Hi lovely viewers, it's me again, your one and only Mtati Mpundu. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time on my channel, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel by hitting the red subscribe button down below and turn the bell icon to join the notification squad. Don't forget to like, share and leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this video in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers. So in 2022, Sylvia Masebo goes to Egypt to procure medicines with a team of people that they went with. When they reached there, everything went well, and they agreed, oh, okay, they're going to buy medicines worth $60 million. They came back, and they thought, because yes, they saw the medicines there, and uh, coming back, they thought it is just a matter of uh, saying uh, to Minister of Finance, hey, Minister of Finance, we have found medicine in Egypt. Can you send $60 million? But P.F. Nkulukusa at that point, P.F. Nkulukusa, P.F. Nkulukusa say, oh, P, P, um, at, uh, at PSC, PS, uh, Nkulukusa, uh, trade, um, uh, at, at Minister of Finance, uh, what is this? T, t uh, uh, what is this? Tre treasure, treasure, uh, Secretary to the Treasury. Secretary to the Treasury advised to say, look, we cannot just send medicine. We cannot just send money to Egypt that, you know, medicine should come. No, it doesn't work out like that. We, they need to be a contract. They need to be, you know, a proper, uh, well-outlined uh, procurement uh, uh, process that, uh, you know, satisfy for such a transaction. So that money could not send, could not be sent. And the, when it could not be sent, uh, you know, Basimbe Basimbe was not even in the country, got to know about this, and she was very frustrated. But the, the technocrats, including Magwede, said, look, there has to be, you know, we have to fulfill the public procurement uh, um, uh, what is it? Public procurement uh, requirements according to the Act. Because government does not just do things anyhow. Government operates uh, within the confines of the law. So everything that you're doing in government, you must follow the law. So the law was not fulfilled. And therefore, the people at the Ministry of uh, Finance found it difficult to send the money that side. But uh, Sylvia Masebo excited with the money that she was going to get out of this, you know, the kickback that she was going to get out of this, she didn't bother about the, the, the procedures. Haka in the HDMI was also frustrated. Meanwhile, medicines in the hospitals are running out. So they were very upset, very, very upset with the technocrats. And if you remember President Haka in the HDMI, you know, Kuma Festkulia, he kept on referring to the law. No, these, the, the, you know, processes, these bureaucracy, bureaucracy and whatever, whatever, they were very frustrated. They were very frustrated because of this kind of things. But they were told, look, government operates within the laws, you know, the confines of the law. Everything that you do must be found in the law because this money belongs to the public. So they were very frustrated. And what do they do now? Uh, meanwhile, Magwede uh, decides to, to engage some local, 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 uh, local suppliers, okay? Local suppliers, some private suppliers, if you like, okay? He tries to mobilize these people so that they can respond to the emergency that was being created by the fact that we didn't have medicines now in hospitals. So Magwede start lining up some people that could supply medicines because that Egypt, uh, Egypt deal was really failing in, in many ways. 
Number one, like I've said, it was not approved. Uh, Egypt was not approved to be the supplier of medicines. Number two, the procurement uh, processes were failing by far. So Magwebe, looking at the need, the emergence that was being created, quickly start mobilizing people to supply medicines quickly to Zambia. And as he is, he is doing that, Sylvia Masebo comes to know about it. And Sylvia Masebo is very upset. And this is where the, the drift or the tension between Sylvia Masebo and the PS Magwede started. Because Sylvia Masebo, she had, you know, created this, this channel of getting medicine from Egypt with, you know, a, a huge kickback that she was going to get. Then, somehow, the technocrats, they say, no, we can't do this. Then Magwede start looking for people now to supply medicines. According to them, no more channels, no more channels. Because in supplying medicines, uh, they have to be, people have to be registered. People have to be registered and approved to be suppliers of medicines. Okay? Pharmaceuticals has to be, they have to be registered and they have to be approved to be supplying medicines. So, we are having a need. And the, the, this thing, this channel, this Egypt nonsense, this, chan, this Egypt deal is not working. Malwede started to uh, get in medicines. Sylvia Van Sebo comes to learn about it. She's upset. She's upset. Some of you, you think that, no, Magwede was fired because of whatever, whatever. No, 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 no. Magwede was not fired because of anything. There was no corruption. And for your own information, Magwede is not in court. Magwede has not been arrested. And yet when he was, when he was fired, it was like Magwede was corrupt. No, Magwede was not corrupt. Yes, he was lining up these people. He could have been expecting a commission, but at least... He was trying to do things within the law, within what is prescribed by the act. That was what he was trying to do. Whilst Masimba Masimba, what he was trying to do, was not, was not in the books. So anyway, that is how we had that problem. Of course, there is that deal also that came from South Africa where, you know, uh, there was a company that was supposed to build hospitals and whatever, whatever. Anyway, at the end of the day, but Sylvia Masebo goes to President Aka in the Ichilema and uh, badmouth Magwede to say Magwede, you know, is trying to cut deals with these companies, you know, and frustrate the Egypt uh, uh, deal. That is how Magwede was relieved. Magwede was relieved because of this. Magwede was relieved because of the Egyptian scandal. I am explaining this so that you understand where it is coming from. Magwede was removed because of this Egyptian scandal. Because Sylvia Masimo said Magwede is standing on the way of us buying medicines from Egypt. Magwede was put aside. A number of other people were also removed in trying to make sure that this deal from Egypt succeeds. So Magwede is out and is one of the biggest. There are other people that were also removed. And remember, I said now there are two, two, there were two PSS. So now they only remained with the Professor Kasonka. Professor Kasonka was not also uh, in agreement with this deal. They saw it to say, no, this is just wrong. You know, and Professor Kasonka, you know, these are old uh, people that have uh, worked in government and they know these 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 procedures so he she he was very reluctant and it frustrated Vasilvia Masebo. Vasilvia Masebo was not happy so they come up with a team now they come up with a team okay you are saying it's the it, we have got legal issues since we have legal issues who is supposed to approve or oh, Zamra okay Zamra is supposed the one who's supposed to approve to where we should buy medicine okay Zamra come here, boom. Uh, who is supposed to buy medicine? Oh, Zamsa. Zamsa come here, boom. Uh, 
who is supposed to draw the contract or oh, ministry of justice ministry of justice come here boom who is supposed to approve the procurement the public procurement who is supposed to do that zppa zppa come here boom uh, who is supposed to be you know uh, medicine that's supposed to be bought from some private companies okay so somebody from the private sector boom and they come up with some a group and they fly to Egypt with a view of going to do whatever they can do in Egypt if to, to, to make sure that in Egypt they, they, they normalize the legal breaches, they normalize the public procurement breaches, they normalize the issue of approving, you know, uh, to, to who should supply medicines to Zambia, they normalize that. And, of course, uh, Ministry of Finance as well, so that everything is done. So they package this, these people and they went to Egypt. And when they went to Egypt there, the mission was to say they normalize, they, they, they bend, they, they, they work 24-7 to normalize the procurement processes, do, to, to, to sort out the legal issues, everything. So that at the end of the day, as they are in Egypt there, they should have a contract. If it is a contract that is needed, that they should have that contract and say, here is a contract to buy medicines. And here is an, an order to buy medicines. And then just phone Nkulukusa to say, Nkulukusa, can you send the money? Now, when they reached Egypt, they had a problem. The problem which, is, which was there was that, you know, they, Sylvia Masebo talks about government to government. There is nothing like government to government procurement. Government does not do business. There is no government that sells, says, here we have medicines, come and buy. No government does that. There is no government to government. Even us in Zambia, we are selling copper. Our major export is copper. It is not the Zambian government that sells copper. It is the individual companies, mining companies that are in Zambia, that sell copper. That is how it is done everywhere in the world. So this nonsense of saying government to government comes in the incompetence that I am talking about. It is incompetent, it is ignorant for somebody to say government to government. There is nothing like government to government. There is nothing. Government does not do business. Government does not sell things. Government does not sell vehicles. Government does not sell medicines. Government does not sell fertilizer. This is DJ Mutati exclusive. Savage. All right, that's all right for you today, lovely viewers. If you did enjoy the video, please don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below. Tell me what you think about the video you just watched in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you, lovely viewers. Once again, I go by the name of Mutati Mpondo. I love you. Peace. I gotta go.